Hi everyone, this is Mylene for today's video. Pag-uusapan natin si Lazada Wallet guys kasi I noticed ang dami po sa inyo nagtatanong about Lazada Wallet. So sabi ko, okay, gagawa na lang tayo ng part 2. So I hope na sa part 2 na to, ma-answer ko lahat ng questions ninyo, okay? Pero anyway guys, before anything else, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, meron akong tatlong videos about Lazada, okay? Uh, meron doon kung paano mag-shop gamit si Lazada Wallet at kung paano mag-cash in gamit si 7-Eleven, okay? So, if you're interested, ililink ko na lang sa baba yung videos, alright? But anyway, guys, uh, first question, okay? First question, saan pwede gamitin ang Lazada Wallet? So, two main options or two main uses of Lazada Wallet, guys. Pwede tayong makapag-buy ng load. Meron po tayong 5% cashback for that. And the second one, of course, is to shop online. To, to shop kay Lazada, right? Second question, guys. Okay, this is a scenario guys ha. Hindi sapat ang Lazada wallet ko sa gusto kong bilhin. Meaning, hindi sapat. Short yung, yung Lazada wallet. Okay, so here's the question guys. Ang tanong, pwede bang Lazada wallet yung ipambabayad ko at ang balance ay COD or cash and delivery? This question, guys, is a very good question, I must say. So, to answer that question, guys, it's a no. Hindi po pwede, guys. Hindi po pwedeng hatiin yung um, Lazada wallet at yung cash on delivery. And here's why. Okay, guys. So, to explain further, guys, I just want to show you. Ito po yung aking wallet. My Lazada wallet po is I only have 89.45 pesos. So, just like this, for example, guys, um, recap lang natin, yung total po na um, cost, including the shipping fee, is already 598 eh, As you can remember, guys, 89.45 lang yung amount ng ating Lazada wallet. So, try natin. Place order. Okay. And then, select payment method. Andiyan na nangunguna talaga yung Lazada Wallet. Yun nga lang, problema, 89.45 lang. Hindi sapat, guys. So, kung makikita nyo dito, guys, um, view more payment options. Dito sa pinakababa, may cash and delivery. Okay. So, it's, for example, guys, I will just show you para makita nyo din. Itatap ko yung 89.45 na Lazada Wallet. And at the same time, ika cash and delivery ko. Since 89 lang, ang makikita nyo dito guys is 508.55. Ito yung balance. So, ang tanong, pwede ba nating bayaran yung 508.55 through cash and delivery? Tap natin yung cash and delivery. And, as you can see here, aha, uh -huh. Okay, full payment is done directly to the courier upon receiving the item. Full payment po guys, ibig sabihin full payment, wala pong dapat na partial payment na gamit si Lazada Wallet, tapos the rest will be um, COD, hindi po pwedeng ganun. So, kung cash and delivery, cash and delivery lang po talaga yung pipiliin natin, okay? So, let's go back. Okay, here's um, an option for you guys, okay? Hindi sapat yung inyong Lazada wallet pero gusto niyo gumamit or gusto niyo mag-shop at gusto niyo bayaran using your Lazada wallet. You have an option to do this. Tap natin yung Lazada wallet and then kung makikita niyo sa baba guys, sa pinakababa, yung orange, meron diyang cash in and pay. Okay? Tap natin 'yan. Since meron tayong balance guys na 508 pesos yun yung dapat nating i-cash in, right? So, Lazada is great kasi pwede tayong makabili or pwede tayong makapag-place ng order kahit na kulang yung money natin sa ating Lazada wallet. So, ito yung balance na dapat nating punuin, right? Since 89 lang yung pera natin sa wallet natin, yung cash in amount natin is dapat 500 pesos. I mean, 508 0.55 pesos. So, dapat lang na mag-cash in tayo. Recommended cash in methods, merong over-the-counter outlets, kung familiar kayo sa True Money, at saka sa Express Pay, 
pwede po yan. Pero kung hindi kayo familiar, meron ding view all cash in methods. As you can see guys, merong over-the-counter outlets, may bank transfer, may bank account. So, tap natin tong over-the-counter. Andyan po, marami pong options. True Money Express Pay, SM Bill Payment, 7-Eleven, M. Lulier. So, just for example guys, 7-Eleven, okay? Since, for example, everywhere, no? Kahit saan may 7-Eleven, very convenient. So, let's say, gusto nating mag-cash in 7-Eleven. Take note guys, na yung ika-cash in po natin is 508. Okay, don't worry. Um, ika-guide naman kayo. So, ayun, piliin natin yung 7-Eleven. Confirm natin ganyan. Na after natin mag-click yung confirm, ayun na siya guys. So, bibigyan lang tayo guys ng 48 hours para makapag-cash in. So, maganda kasi hindi siya one day, right? Bibigyan talaga tayo ng two days, 48 hours talaga para makapag-cash in, right? So, ibig sabihin yung order natin guys, kahit kulang yung ating pinambayad, kasi kulang yung money sa ating wallet, pwede pa rin. Kaso, pending pa yung order natin, hindi pa siya mapaprocess, hindi pa siya deliver unless, makapag-cash in po tayo gamit itong code na to. Okay? So, kung familiar kayo paano mag-cash in gamit si Coins, si uh, Paymaya, gamit si 7-Eleven, then, that's just like that as well, guys. Gawin nyo lang, screenshot nyo lang to, then, punta kayo ng 7-Eleven, ipascan nyo po ito, tapos, magbayad na lang po kayo ng 508.55 Okay? After nyo pong ma mapascan to, tapos mabayaran, then automatic po, I believe, mapapasok po sa account niyo sa Lazada wallet ninyo, yung kinash in, right? And then, your payment or your order will be processed po. Okay? So, that's the second option kapag kakulang po yung inyong um, Lazada wallet. Okay? And then, guys, there's a question, guys. Kung after 48 hours, hindi ako nakapag-cash in, meaning nakalimutan ko, then maka-cancel po yung inyong in-order, guys. Okay? Maka-cancel po siya. And guys, another option, kung hindi sapat yung inyong Lazada wallet, then you can choose not to use Lazada wallet na lang. Okay? So, ang daming options, guys. Merong andito, yung card mo. Okay? Visa Or pwede din GCash guys. Kung mayroon kayong GCash, then pwede po yan. And meron din tayong credit card or debit card. Ayan. Fill up yun lang yung um, information na dapat. Okay? And meron din tayong, ayun, BDO credit card. Pero parang hindi siya pwede. Okay. Dapat 3,000 po yung inyong order. And syempre, may cash and delivery. Okay? So, ang daming options. Pero yung example na binigay ko kanina is only if um, gusto niyo talagang gamitin yung Lazada wallet niyo pero kulang yung inyong pera okay so pwede po tayong makapag um, cash in sa 7-11 pa rin and then kapag complete na then by that time pretty sure mapaprocess po yung inyong in order okay so pwede po yun pero at the same time medyo kung feeling niyo nakakahassle naman meron naman akong GCash account and sapat naman yung pera ko sa GCash account then you can choose GCash naman, tap na lang yun po, ano ba yun? Um, ito tap nyo lang po itong GCash na option then pay now, okay? so, that's it okay, so third question guys hanggang magkano po ba ang pwede i-cash in sa 7-11 medyo malaki po kasi pambibili ng phone okay, so to answer that question tap natin tong cash in okay, tap na cash in, tapos Tap natin yung view all cash in methods. Piliin natin yung over the counter outlets. Tapos kasi yung sinabi niya is 7-11 guys. Pero before natin piliin yung 7-11, lagay natin dito yung amount. Okay? So, let's say for example, yung phone, magkano ba yung phone? Okay, let's see. Try natin um, 200,000. Grabe naman yung phone at 200,000. Parang laptop na ata. Yun ano. But anyway, yeah. Let's just put, you know, a higher amount para malaman natin kung pwede ba, how much, hanggang kailan, hanggang magkano ba yung pwede natin i-cash in gamit si 7-11. Okay? So, piliin natin 7-11 here. Then, confirm. 200,000 yan, guys. Ano? Okay. 
So, confirm tayo. Ayun, may message po. Please enter a number between 20 pesos and 48,677. Yes. Ayun po yung pwede nating i-cash in kay 7-Eleven. But then again, I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope so you subscribe to my channel. As soon as we reach 1,000 subscribers, meron ulit tayong giveaway. But thank you so much. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.